Do you want to get more views, increase that watch time so you can get monetized, have people watch your videos like they're binging Netflix? Guess what? It can all be done through the power of playlists. Today, I'm going to show you how to create playlists on your YouTube channel to keep your viewers watching. First of all, what are playlists? Playlists are curated subsets of your video content. So they could be like all of your shopping hauls or all of your tutorials on a specific product, or they could be like a series of videos that make sense in some sort of sequential order. Whatever it is, it's something that a viewer might be in the mood to binge watch. Now, how do you playlists look from the user perspective? When they visit your YouTube channel, they'll see these rows of playlists and they can select one of these buttons here. Let's say play all. The first video in the playlist will start. And once that video is finished, the next video in that playlist starts automatically. You can see all the videos here in this playlist on the top right of the screen. They also have options to loop the playlist. So it just continually plays. Once it finishes the last video, it starts back on the first or they can shuffle the order. But let's start creating our own playlist. So what you want to do is head on over to YouTube Studio and on the left side of the screen, select playlists. Now this channel doesn't have any playlists yet. So to start a new one, we're going to go to the top right of the screen and select new playlist. And we're going to add a title to this playlist. Then you're going to want to select the visibility of the playlist so it can be public, private or unlisted. Just like with videos you post on YouTube, public means anyone can see it. Private means no one can see it but you and unlisted means that anyone with the actual direct link to that playlist can view it. But if you didn't have that link, it's not searchable on YouTube. Let's select public and then we're going to hit this button here for create. Now you can see our empty playlist has populated this screen. Let's head on up to it and select this pencil icon to make some edits. So the first thing you want to look at is this section over here of this screen. We already have our title. If we wanted to change the title, we just hit the pencil icon and retype what we want. And then the next thing you can do is add a description. Now I would totally recommend adding a description to your playlists because that helps them be searchable so they can be found by new viewers. Once you filled in that description, hit the save button. All right, now it's time to add videos to this playlist. But before I show you how to do that, if you like this video, if you feel like you're learning something, let me know, give me that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss a future upload. So to add videos, you're actually going to click over on this ellipsis, these little three dots here, and we're going to see all of these options. The first one is to add videos. The next one is to collaborate so you can invite people to add videos to your playlist. The next one is playlist settings, and we'll get to that. The fourth one is to delete a playlist, which we definitely don't want to do right now. Let's head on up to add videos. And now you get this pop up window. Now it's important to know that you can add other people's videos to your playlist. But if your goal is to keep people watching and accrue those watch hours and new subscribers, I wouldn't add anybody else's videos to your playlist, right? You want them to keep watching your content. So if you want to access your content in this window really easily, just head over to your YouTube videos. Now you can select multiple videos from your video library by holding down the command key if you're on a Mac, the control key if you are on a PC. Let's just pick three videos here. And then we're gonna select the add videos button. And here they appear in your playlist. Now, if you wanted to reorder these videos, you could just drag these two lines next to one of the thumbnails and drag it to the top and you can reorder super easily there. So now you've officially created a playlist, but how do you get that playlist to appear on your channel's homepage so viewers can find it really easily? Let me show you how to do that. You're gonna to wanna to head on over to your channel and when you're on your own YouTube channel and you are logged in, you're gonna get these extra buttons here. So you already have a playlist for uploads that is automatically generated by YouTube. If you want to add that new playlist, you're going to hit customize channel. And what you're looking for is down here, featured sections. We're going to select add section and to add a single playlist, just select the single playlist option. Of course, we just have one playlist. Now you can see that new playlist has been added to your featured sections. Just like before, if you wanted this playlist to appear at the top of your channel above your uploads playlist, just grab those lines and drag it up. If you want to make changes to that playlist, you can just click this ellipsis here. You can edit the contents of that section. You can view the playlist or you can remove the playlist. 
Make sure you hit the publish button at the top right of your screen so those changes can be visible on your YouTube channel. And here we are back on our own homepage. You can see that I've got the title of this playlist here and the description below, and there is that play all button. Now you can modify playlists as you add new content to your channel. Let me make sure I show you that tip. While you're uploading your video under the playlist option here, you can add that video to the playlist. Now that that video has been uploaded and added to the playlist, let's customize the placement of that video in the playlist. In YouTube Studio, we're gonna go back to the left side of the screen to playlists, edit the playlist, and this new video has automatically been added to the end of our playlist. So there's a couple things we can do here. If we want this to go to the top of the playlist, so it's the first video people see, we can drag it to our new position. If we always want any new content to appear at the beginning of our playlist, what we can do is head on over to that ellipsis again and go to playlist settings and you can select this slider, add new videos to top of playlist. And so any new content you add will always be added to the top of your playlist and will always appear as the first video in your section here. So that's everything you need to know about creating playlists in YouTube. They're so powerful if you're trying to grow your audience and accrue more watch time. I picked up some other videos I think you might enjoy as well. Thanks for hanging out with me today, you guys. I'll see you again.